Right, so um, I've put the battery back together and as you can see the meter actually does say that one of my cells or one of my strings of cells is below 2 volts but it's not true because I can put that meter back up there and zoom out put this meter in the shot um, I just want to make sure that you can read uh, that meter and I will go across every string of cells in series and prove that it must be the meter because um, i trying to get that better shot, can you read that? No. Right there. Can you read that? Yeah you can read that, right, okay let's go from the uh, positive side to the negative side uh, the first string of cells 2.9 because these are flat, that's alright, let's swap this over so we get the right priority um, 2.8 Okay, that's good. Uh, let's go back around to the next string of cells. 2.6. 2.8. Okay, right. And now let's do the last string of cells. 2.7. So I think I've taken my entire battery pack apart because this cheap little um, meter that reads the balance of the cells has gone wrong. Um, so let's do this another way around. We, we've got um, 2.71, which was that this one here, 2.7, and on the other end, 1.56. Uh, we're getting 1.56. No, it's 2.9. Okay, we've got next one down is 2.84. Can you read that? Uh, yeah, uh, 2.84 is 2.84. So let's just prove that to you. Zoom out. Second string of cells, 2.84. Uh, yeah, 2.84. Uh, third set is 2.88. So that's the image of the third set of cells. Uh, positive, negative. 2.86. Very close to the 2.88. So, this little cheap power meter thing here that tells me the, the um, uh, each value, e each voltage of each cell has lied to me. And it's caused me to take this entire pack apart this entire entire pack apart, discharge them all and charge them and discharge them again to make sure I had good capacity in each hoping to find that one of my cells was dud and they're not, not dud so I am at a complete loss so I'm just gonna um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna keep this one but I'm probably gonna bin it uh, sooner or later um, I have got uh, <sighs> A BMS type meter to put on here, and uh, well, not BMS. It's a, a charge management thing, just to stop it overcharging, not to stop it over discharging. So what I'm going to do is because uh, I'm obviously going to renew this item here, and hopefully get something that I can compare it to, and I can show you that this is rubbish against a new one. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take another set of these balance leads. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, double these up uh, because all the different lithium iron phosphate battery management systems or, or uh, pack, pack um, com well, the computers, um, they're all different. Some want five leads, some want four leads, some want three leads. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, cannibalize this one. Uh, and uh, double these up so I've got um, obviously going from beginning to end we've got uh, where are we red blue yellow orange black I'm gonna do the same again so I'm gonna have two sets of leads one's gonna go into uh, quick release connectors probably like the way go ones and um, depending on whether uh, the BMS or the uh, printed circuit board type uh, monitor or whatever I'm gonna put on this needs two, three, four, or five leads. I'm gonna have a spare set on there ready. Uh, and I've, I've all got one in, in stock. 
just waiting for a um, another part to come so that I can connect them together and see if it cuts the charge off when it should do. Uh, but what I'm trying to get to is uh, a point. I've got two or three items that I want to test and see if they work because I don't trust this pack. I know it's lithium iron phosphate and it's much safer than the uh, lithium iron 18650 types uh, that I've made in the past. But I don't, that's cost me money and I don't want to damage them in any way. So I want to try out several types. So, so anyway, basically you get it. I don't want to damage these cells because these are mine and they cost me money. Uh, whereas the other ones I don't care too much about. Um, I've got a lot invested in these. So I'm going to test out several different items to see if they're up to the job and probably um, settle on something that I have in mind. Uh, so yes, on with the next bit which is soldering on this onto the, the, the box, so I'm going to go fast again. That's that done. Um, I haven't done a particularly well job, a good job. Um, they are pretty tacky to be honest, but um, that's okay for now. What I'm going to do is just show you the um, balance lead. So we've got the first one showing up, obviously, still got the fault. Second one is there. Just plug that in. So as that works, um, basically what I'm going to do now is wrap it up temporary, insulate all the terminals, probably going to reuse some of the packaging that came with it, just use some duct tape or insulation tape, wrap the whole thing so that all I've got is these two ends uh, exposed and also uh, the, the terminals that I had in there before, uh, which are buried, um, something with a fuse holder and a crimp eye. Uh, to fasten onto here, and then um, we'll see where we get to next. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, and rate, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheers.